This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. About 250 firefighters from across the state arrived in Vantage Thursday to battle the Milepost 22 fire, which is now 30% contained. State troopers are conducting slow down, move over emphasis patrols from Friday through Sunday statewide. High school graduation rates are on the ascent for the most part in the Columbia Basin. The Wenatchee Apple Sox hosted the Walla Walla Sweets in their second game of three at Paul Thomas Senior Stadium Wednesday night. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. About 250 firefighters from across the state arrived in Vantage Thursday to battle the Milepost 22 fire, which is now 30% contained. The fire, which sparked Wednesday evening along the Vantage Highway about a mile northwest of Vantage, has burned about 5,000 acres. Public Information Officer Randy Shepard said Level 2 evacuation orders remain in place for the town of Vantage. Shepard said it's likely the evacuation levels will be re-evaluated Thursday evening. State mobilization was approved early Thursday morning and a Type 3 incident management team has taken over command. Shepard said firefighters worked overnight on the south and east flanks of the fire along the highway and toward Vantage. He added the fire lines on the south and east flanks appear to be holding and were stabilized Thursday. Fire crews are now working to contain the blaze on the west and north flanks with the help of three helicopters and four fire boss airplanes pulling water from the Columbia River. Shepard said no structures have been lost and no injuries reported. Fire officials say the blaze was human cause, but the exact cause remains under investigation. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The Low Profile Microwave Hood Combination, from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at More Furniture in Ephrata. State troopers are conducting slow down, move over emphasis patrols from Friday through Sunday statewide. The purpose of the patrols is to help both troopers and citizens get home safe by bringing awareness of the state's move over law. In the last three years, 86 patrol cars were hit and 32 troopers injured. The move over law requires vehicles approaching an emergency or work zone to slow down and if safe, to move over or change lanes. Washington State Patrol would like to remind drivers to slow down and move to the left if a lane is available within 200 feet of approaching an emergency zone. An emergency zone is defined as an emergency vehicle parked on the shoulder with their emergency lights or sirens activated. The State Patrol contacted more than 3,800 drivers in 2017 for move-over violations, which also come with a $214 fine that cannot be waived or reduced. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. High school graduation rates are on the ascent for the most part in the Columbia Basin. Data from the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction shows positive trends for high school graduations in Ephrata, Othello, and Moses Lake. Between 2013 and 2016, Moses Lake saw a drastic graduation percentage increase, rising from 64% in 2013 to 83% in 2016. Othello's rate has been slowly rising over the last four years, with a 78.4% graduation rate in 2016. Ephrata has the highest graduation rates in the area and has maintained a graduation ratio of over 90 percent over the last three years. Well I think it uh, there's a lot of a lot of parts to it. Um, I think uh, it's uh, a lot of hard work, uh, dedicated staff, uh, support from the uh, superintendent, school board, community, and I think it's an expectation that students graduate. And we, uh, we work very hard to, to know every student and their families. And if they do start to fall off track, uh, we are working with them immediately. And, um, and we push it right till the end to try to get every kid over that bar by the time of graduation. 
I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. The Wenatchee Apple Sox hosted the Walla Walla Sweets in their second game of three at Paul Thomas Senior Stadium Wednesday night. Apple Sox pitcher Sam Wong picked up his second victory of the season, allowing only one run in six innings and striking out six sweets. The Sox scored in the first inning to take an early lead. The Sweets finally scored, tying up the game in the fifth after stranding five runners in the first four innings. The tie wouldn't last long, however. Alex Garcia hit his first home run of the season on the first pitch of the bottom of the fifth, heating up the bats. Isaac Barrera scored two batters later on an RBI single. Game, you know, Wong went out there and gave us uh, a very good start. Bullpen was great tonight. Uh, offense was everything we had to have. It's uh, the first time this week we put a whole game together, offense, defense, uh, and pitching. But uh, pitching definitely carries this one. Sox took their first win against the Walla Walla Sweets 3-1. to one. They hope to pick up the series during their third game Thursday, June 21st. First pitch is set for 7.05 p.m. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.